ABC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Winter, an El Nino flavored winter with lots of clouds, subtropical jet stream, on and off rain chances. We only had three sunny days in February, and that may be it uh, because the next sunny day comes Friday, and I believe that is into March. So as we look ahead, guess what? More on and off rain chances, and right now it's turned on out there. A quick look outside, and we see the overcast skies and some interesting looking stratiform clouds today uh, where we had cold pockets of air aloft, and that's been allowing for the instability a disturbance coming in and that's been igniting the showers and thunderstorms across the region. So let's get to the big map and see what's going on. Lake effect snows and high winds winding down in the northeast. They had wind gusts up to 75 miles an hour coming off Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. More big snows here in the big sky country. Wind chill advisories in the northern plains and more heavy snow and heavy rainfall for California. Another several feet of snow on the way for the Sierra Nevada. It's been a blockbuster year, but with all the precip in California now, that means that you're going to have a lot of vegetation growth going into the summer, so the fire season is going to be exceptional, I think, in that part of the world as we get into the spring and summer months over there. Meanwhile, for us locally, a lot of rain showing up with an upper level disturbance that has been pushing on through late this afternoon. As we take a look at uh, the local Doppler radars, most of the thunderstorm activity over by Houston, we're seeing the cloud to ground lightning strikes there and offshore can't rule out maybe some small pea sized hail in some of these storms as they push on through, but mostly rain. We haven't heard any thunder locally, but we might hear a couple of rumbles of thunder from time to time. Heaviest rainfall pretty much covering most of Acadiana, except in extreme northwestern areas and some locally heavy downpours right by Abbeville and then over toward Erath, Delcom, spanning into New Iberia as well. Lafayette rains have let up a little bit, but more moderate rains moving on through and some locally heavy rains as we get into uh, St. Landry Parish and then out across the basin. And then, oh, well, let's take a look down to the south and east and we'll show you what's happening down through St. Mary Parish. Some locally heavy downpours just ending in Franklin, but more on the the way light rains all the way down through Morgan City, but plenty more coming all along the way as we take a look at the predictive radar. We're not looking for the shapes to match, but we're looking for where the activity is going to continue. And it looks like for a good part of the evening, at least through about nine or 10 o'clock tonight before things begin to wind down, that disturbance moves off to the east, but enter the next disturbance as we get closer to tomorrow morning showers and maybe some strong thunderstorms at just about at any time during the day the afternoon into the evening and overnight hours and thus the Storm Prediction Center also forecasting the possibility of uh, maybe a few severe thunderstorms as well. We'll skip the future cast here, show you uh, again the Storm Prediction Center forecast for a severe storm risk. This is just a level one out of five, a marginal risk, just a 5% chance of a storm or two anywhere in this spot within a 25 mile radius. I uh, might see some hail, perhaps some strong gusty winds, but it it is a marginal situation for severe storms. We'll just have to watch the storms on the radar and pay attention to that. As for rain totals, well, uh, most of us seeing a quarter to a half inch. Some spots are going to catch more than that, and that will continue just not only through Wednesday, but Thursday as well. Temperature wise, low to mid 50s tonight, so temperature stays steady. We'll go lower 60s uh, for tomorrow for a high, and then we stay in the upper 50s, lower 60s, and more than likely get into the mid 70s for a Wednesday. So shower and storms likely maybe a brief break later on after early this evening, but more showers by morning. Got to go with a rain chance near 100%. Most of Acadiana covered right now. Tomorrow, more on and off showers and storms. Maybe not as widespread as today, but chance of getting wet at 70%. Hail possible in a few of those storms along with the gusty winds as well. 63 the projected high. 60% chance of showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see spring-like temperatures here. A bit of a break, we think, for Friday. Warms back up, rain chances ramping up Sunday, and then temperatures heading downward as we head into Monday and Mardi Gras. Uh, right now, both the GFS and the European model indicating highs only in the 40s, lows in the low to mid 30s, and maybe some frost still possible as we head toward the latter part, uh, well, into the second week of March. So March is going to start off on a chilly note mm -hmm. for sure. And of course, it's just in time for Mardi Gras, but the good news <laughs> is some sunshine.
for Fat Tuesday. I guess we'll focus on that. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right. I'm sure you Hopefully will. those temperatures and will have change, the wind though. at your back, James, yeah, when you're walking so. around. I guess so. <laughs> Thanks, Rob.